Minecraft Update 1.9. The Minecraft update that ruined the game. In this video, I'll be breaking it up into two parts. The first part will be about the new PvP mechanics. The second part will be about Minecraft version 1.9.3 and how it ruined the Minecraft multiplayer community. And real quick, before we hop into the video, Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. First of all, let's talk about how this update 1.9 has changed PvP for the worst. What Minecraft did, they should have not have done. They introduced a new PvP system completely different from the old one, expecting you to relearn your years of practice on PvP. Not only did they remove block hitting, and put shields in their place. They also made axes, which are made for cutting wood, and they made them more powerful than swords, the thing that is meant to hit players and entities. You might argue that swords are still better because you don't have to wait to hit someone, but even so, everyone still uses axes on 1.9 combat and above. On my Minecraft multiplayer survival server, most people don't even have a sword. And if you want even more proof, look at the big Minecraft network servers like Hypixel and Mindplex. They all run on Minecraft 1.8.9 for the PvP mechanics and stability. On top of that, they introduced useless items like tipped arrows. Some would argue this was a good addition. But seriously, you want to heal your opponent and give them speed? Are you kidding me? What's the point of that? The next section is about Minecraft 1.9.3. One, Minecraft 1.9.3 is one of the least favorite things Mojang has done to the game in my opinion. You might be absolutely clueless to what the update brings to the table, but if you were a Minecraft server owner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In this update, Mojang blacklists and shuts down any big or medium sized Minecraft server that sells items in-game for real-world money. You might be thinking, this is good that Mojang is doing this, but what it really does is lower Minecraft servers' income drastically. Even if they do follow this rule, they will eventually not break even because no one will be buying their ranks and products. Eventually, they are forced to shut down because they are not making a profit. Not only did this update force many servers to shut down, but it ruined some server game modes. Creative servers were no more as well as faction servers. Because in both of these server types, it all revolves around you buying in-game items to progress in the game mode. This was just my take on the Minecraft update 1.9 and Minecraft update 1.9.3. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you haven't, already make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn post notifications on so you never miss a video.